What is the one thing that you want in your life? Be happy. Yeah. And for you, the young lady in the red, what do you want? A freedom to be an artist. Mm. You have to get out of the box. You have to think differently to make something different happen in your life. You can make something extraordinary happen in the time that you've got on this planet. We want to make some huge shifts in our life, and it's exciting. But the one thing that everybody has mentioned, and it's true, and that's fear. What if we could change something right now in your life to do with money? Some people have this belief system that you have to work hard to make money. And all you need to do is listen to your body. First of all, these are the requirements you need to do with this little exercise. And it's not difficult. Listen to your body. And when you feel something tightening up in your body, all you've got to do in your mind is to just say, I release it. Think of how you're feeling when you focus on that monetary issue. Just think for a moment and then just feel where do you feel it. You normally will notice it in the chest or in your stomach. You want to try that out? Maybe you just close your eyes for a moment. Just think for a moment. Just feel what is it that's upsetting you in your life to do with monetary system. We have an emotional response in our body. But you see, as much as everybody wants to teach you how to change something, how to make a beautiful change in your life, how you want to have love, how you want to have freedom, how you want to have life, how you want to be successful, joy, make millions, there is a pressure in your body that you have to, in some way, change. And then what you do is just say, I release it. And now you're going to notice something else that's very interesting. There is another kind of belief system below that. There's always something telling you you can't. And if you focus on that, you feel something else coming up. And slowly what happens, you start letting go of the emotion that's going on in your body. And you don't have to know what it is that's hurting you. You don't have to figure it out. You have something else, your built-in mechanism of your body that tells you you're free to do what you want. There is so much excitement in the world. There is so much fun that you can give yourself. But if you listen to that body, if you listen to this amazing apparatus that you have, and when you feel a tension in your body, when you feel this fear in yourself of, I don't know if I'm going to be successful, I don't know if I'm going to make a change. And you listen to it and you just release it then possibilities become your way. What about the resistance to change? The resistance is that fear. You most probably will find that all of us, when we feel this fear, like what you're asking, is that little voice in your head that says, do I dare? Uh, do you believe in chance or do we create our chances? because it's so important for me, your answer. I think we have to start from an origin to life. Some, some people are chancy and someone are not, I believe. And do you believe, is it like this? You've got to allow something to happen. But there's no such thing as luck. It's all a matter of imagination and passion. 
is you put the passion with the imagination, your life changes. You have tremendous fun in what you want. Um, you said that we should remember our childhood dream or the joy we had in the, when we were a kid and we, as adults we cannot remember it. What kind of an exercise could we do in order to remember our dream as a child? Laugh a lot. Thanks. It's so simple, you see. The bigger the crisis, the more you must laugh. Now, it sounds absurd that such a statement can be made, but try it out. Try it out, and you'll first of all, what will happen is the endorphins and the energy in your body is upset. You've been in a state of shock. Your body has shut down. When you start laughing, the circuit inside of you says, I can breathe again. Second thing you need to do is breathe. You see, when you get a shock, you go, and then you fall over. But if you would allow yourself to just have the fun, the laughter of experiencing what you're wanting to become, the manifestation of what you want becomes. Does it answer your question? Okay. Anything else? 